It was a dim dom kind of day. And Flat Jack was feeling just that. A little flat. What a dim dom day, he said. All of a sudden, Flat Jack let out an enormous sneeze. <coughs> when Flat Jack opened his eyes, there stood before him a funny little green man. Hey, Flat Jack! My name is Boogie Woogie! Why the ding dong face? He asked. Ah, oh, Boogie Woogie. What should I do? I feel so colourless, bored, and well, a little flat, said Flat Jack. I've got a good idea! Let's go find a rainbow! said Boogie Woogie. Ah, oh, Boogie Woogie. That sounds like a great idea. Would you help me find a rainbow? asked Flat Jack. No problem, Jack, said Boogie Woogie, and off they went in search of the rainbow. After walking for some time, Flat Jack heard somebody laughing from the sky. When he looked up, he saw a big yellow smiling face looking down on him. Hello, Flat Jack and Boogie Woogie. Where are you both going on this beautiful sunny day? Asked the sun. Hello, Mr. Sun. We're off to find a rainbow. Do you know where we can find one? Questioned Boogie Woogie. The sun thought for a minute and he replied, You need to take some sunshine, save it up, and keep it with you for a rainy day, said the sun. Oh, thank you, Mr. Sun. We'll just do just that, said Boogie Woogie. And they continued on their way. Further down the road, they came across a big red dragon, whose name was Duncan. And where are you off to this fine day? Said Duncan the dragon. I'm going with my friend Boogie Woogie to find a rainbow. Could you tell us how we could find one? You need to be strong and brave to find the rainbow. Said Duncan the dragon. Oh, thank you very much. We will do just that. And off they went. Flat Jack and Boogie Woogie were discussing their encounters with the sun and Duncan the dragon, when all of a sudden, Flat Jack stepped on something sticky and gooey and got stuck to the ground. Oh help, Boogie Woogie. I seem to be stuck to the ground and can't move. Boogie Woogie looked down and saw that Flat Jack had stepped on some bubble gum that somebody had thrown on the ground. Ouch! Get off me! yelled the bubble gum. Boogie Woogie grabbed onto Flat Jack and pulled him as hard as he could until Flat Jack finally became unstuck. And where are you going in such a hurry? asked the bubblegum. We're going to find a rainbow! replied Boogie Woogie, looking a little astonished about a talking bubblegum. Would you know how you could find one? asked Flat Jack. You need to be a good friend and always be ready to pull him out of a sticky situation. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bubblegum! said Boogie Woogie, and they continued on their way. Later that day, Flat Jack and Boogie Woogie came to a fast-flowing river. Oh no! We'll never get across this river and find our rainbow. When out of the river came a fish. Hello, Flat Jack and Boogie Woogie. My name is Bubbles, said Bubbles. No problem. Just jump on my back and I'll take you to the other side. Flat Jack and Boogie Woogie jumped onto Bubbles' back and they swam all the way to the other side of the river. Thank you, Bubbles. If you wish to find a rainbow, you need to be kind and helpful, said Bubbles. And with those words, Bubbles disappeared under the water and swam away. Flat Jack and Boogie Woogie walked for some time when they came to some grasslands. They saw something moving very slow amongst the tall grass and noticed that it was Travis the tiger who was walking very quietly through the grass, looking for his next meal. Hello, Travis! 
shouted Boogie Woogie, which sent all of the animals who were hiding in the grass scampering away, including Travis the Tiger's dinner. Excuse us, Travis, but we're looking for a rainbow. Would you know how you could find one? Asked Flatjack, who was feeling a little embarrassed. You need to be patient, said Travis the Tiger and slowly disappeared into the tall grass. We should do just that, Flatjack thought to himself, quietly trying not to scare any more animals away. And they both continued on their way. Soon Flatjack and Boogie Woogie came to a large tree where they saw a silver and golden snake who was in the process of shedding his skin. Oh, hello, Mr. Snake. We're looking for a rainbow. Could you please tell us how we can find one? If you want to find the rainbow, you must shed old skin so you can grow. Then you will certainly find your rainbow. Oh, thanks, Mr. Snake. We'll try and do just that, said Flatjack. And they watched the snake slither away into the nearby bushes. Flatjack and Boogie Woogie were very tired by this time. So Boogie Woogie found a nice soft place to sleep in the grass. Flatjack climbed up the tree to the highest branch he could find, built himself a cocoon, and climbed inside and went straight to sleep. A few days passed by when, all of a sudden, the cocoon started to break open. Crack! From out of the cocoon came a beautiful butterfly with wings that were filled with all of the colours of the rainbow. It was Flat Jack! He had turned into a butterfly! Boogie Woogie, who had been waiting at the bottom of the tree very patiently, cried out, You found it! You found it! You found the rainbow! Oh, I've done just that, said Flat Jack, who was no longer flat. I found my rainbow, and it was with me the whole time. Flat Jack and Boogie Woogie looking for the, looking for the rainbow. Flat Jack and Boogie Woogie talking about my Flat Jack and Boogie Woogie hamster. Flat Looking for the rainbow.